Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeannie and this is fashion skin care. If that interests you, just go ahead and click that subscribe button, ring that bell, and go ahead and become part of the team here at Get This Glowing. In today's video, I am so excited because this is going to be a um, somewhat of a luxury haul for new beauty items that I have purchased recently. Um, wow do I have a story to tell about this but the focus really is going to be on the brand new love filter lipsticks by Charlotte Tilbury if you're interested in seeing those I have all three with a lip liner for you and the collagen lip bath that if you spend $95 you get that for free uh, I just got mine in the mail and if you want to see how those are swatching and some comparisons to what's already in her line, just keep watching. We're getting into it next year on Get This Glowing. Guys, I'm so excited. Charlotte has added some new lipstick colors and they are gorgeous to her line and I am a big fan of all things Charlotte Tilbury as you know if you are over here on my channel at all. I just received mine in the mail. So I went ahead and pulled um, a lot of my collection out to compare for you today. And quite honestly, from the swatches I've already done, I'm not seeing a lot of overlap in the shade range. Good job, Charlotte. Look at these packages. Oh my gosh, they are, they've got Cupid on them. Oh my gosh, this packaging is to die for. I couldn't believe it. It is so cute. So let me come in and let you see this. Look at this packaging. Ah, oh, and you know I'm a sucker for packaging, but this wasn't even shown <laughs> on the website. <laughs> oh my goodness. So one of the shades is called um, Wedding Bells. And of course... It comes in the standard bullet that looks like this. So nothing really that special about the outer packaging. But once you open it and you pull the bullet up, guys, look at the detail on the outer uh, lipstick bullet itself. It has all of these cute lips on the lipstick bullet itself. It's just absolutely adorable as you go around. This is described as a nude pink lipstick with a kissable matte finish and it's absolutely gorgeous. And this is the hand swatch of the color and I'm also going to do a try on with it. But it is just beautiful. I think that this is a really nice, like it says, a nude pink color. It doesn't really lean too warm. It doesn't lean too cool. I think you can wear it with a lot of different looks. I don't think it's going to be too overpowering no matter what eye look you wear. So I also picked up um, on this one, I went ahead and bought it as the pair for, uh, it's $53 if you buy the pair with the lip cheat and it comes with the lip cheat love trap. And I didn't have this particular lip cheat, so I went ahead and picked that up. And this is what that color looks like. So it kind of reminds you of the iconic nude lip cheat. It's just a very nude color, so I thought that I would just try that on and let you see what that looks like with the color so that you could tell how well it looked. Mm, what a nice, nice color this is. I really, really like this one. Oh, I like this a lot better than Iconic Nude. So I think this is a very nice color for a lip cheat. I think you could even pop just a clear gloss over the top of it and go like that without any color. So I'll come in and let you see that. And then 
with the lip cheat with the bullet. So this is the shade Wedding Bells. I think that's a very nice shade. I really like that one. You'll have to let me know what you think. Mm, very nice. I really like this one. I think it looks really good with my eye look, which by the way is the Pat McGrath, the new Divine Rose 2. I like this one very much. Okay, let's get this one off and let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next try on I'm going to do is going to be with that same color Wedding Bells, but without the liner on so that you can see what it's going to look like if you don't have the liner. Okay, so this is the same shade Wedding Bells, no lip cheat. Okay, now we're going to be moving on to the next color, and this is called Mrs. Kisses. This is described as a golden peachy pink lipstick with a beautiful matte finish. This is what the shade looks like right here. Again, it does have the beautiful imprinted lips on the outer bullet. It's just absolutely gorgeous. The attention to detail is impeccable. And this one is just beautiful as well with a little bit more warmth, but still it has just, again, a beautiful wearability. The shade just seems to me like it can be worn by a wide range of undertones. I just think it's beautiful. So let's try this one on. Mm, so creamy. Oh, her lipsticks feel so good. So that's what this shade looks like. Probably not what I would choose to wear with the look I've got going on today, but mm, a very pretty, pretty color for a look that maybe I would choose to use uh, the color Stoned Rose with. Maybe I would choose this one instead. Mm, so pretty. Very, very beautiful. Oh, I love it. Oh my God. Goodness, this collection is just, oh, superb. Oh, I love all of these that are new from her. Oh, my goodness. I am so excited to have each and every one of these. Oh, they're so good. Love it. Okay. Moving on along. And the last one in this collection, but certainly not least, is the one called First Dance. This one is described as a blushed berry rose lipstick for a pretty rose petal pouch. Oh, so beautiful. And again, it has that beautiful detail of the lips. When I see this one, the very first thing that hit my mind was Walk of Shame with a little bit more berry tone. So, here's the color. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So let's try it. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. I love this color. <laughs> This is so good. Oh my goodness. I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm not disappointed in this purchase. Not one little bitty bit. Mm, I love all of them. This is absolutely gorgeous. So, yes. Okay. Mm, 
I love it and I love it with this eye look. Okay, so yes. So those are the three shades. If you're wanting to know what they look like, they're just absolutely beautiful. And there is the lip cheek. Uh, if you spent $95, then you got this beautiful um, lip, collagen lip bath. It's just absolutely stunning. And it is a peachy collagen lip bath. And this is in the shade Peachy Plum is what it's called peachy plump and so it looks like this so that will look great over any type of warm tone uh, lipsticks and it's a full size it's just really really large so I'm really happy to have that collagen lip bath as well so excited for that so that is what I hauled um, my latest haul from Charlotte Tilbury Oh, I'm so excited to have um, the lips in this collection. So, yes, um, mm, yes, I'm just thrilled with the color choices. So, let's look at how close some of these are um, in her other lipsticks. Uh, one of the ones that I, I thought might come close to Mrs. Kisses is um, the Super Cindy. And I'll show you what Super Cindy is looking like up against the Mrs. Kisses. So that's what this is coming in at. And it's really, I hope that you're seeing this okay. Um, maybe, maybe let me show you right here. So this is Super Cindy right here. And let me swatch the Mrs. Kisses up against it. And this is the Mrs. Kisses. So Super Cindy and Mrs. Kisses. So I still don't think that that's too close at all. Then the stoned rose was the other one that I thought might be similar. And that's how that's comparing. So this is the Mrs. Kisses in the middle and here's the stoned rose. So I still don't think that that's too similar. because the stoned, the stoned rose has a little bit more warmth to it. So, don't think that's too similar. And those were really the ones that I thought were giving me the most vibes for Mrs. Kisses, yeah. And this is um, Glowing Gin up against Mrs. Kisses. And Glowing Gin, I believe, is um, just a hair darker. So it has the same vibe, but it's a hair darker. So that's how it's stacking up against Glowing Gin. It's very, very similar to In Love with Olivia. The difference between In Love with Olivia is that it is a, um, where this one is Mrs. Kisses is a matte revolution and In Love with Olivia is the kissing formula, but the shade is a very, very similar.
So that's what I have for you on that one. The next one that I want to compare is Wedding Bells, which is this one right here. Let's compare JK Magic So I think JK Magic is a little bit too light. Let's compare uh, Angel Alessandra. Angel Alessandra is too light and too peachy. Let's compare Pillow Talk. very close to Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is a little bit lighter, but very, very close. So if you like Pillow Talk, I think that you'll really like this one, which is Wedding Bells. This is Pillow Talk 2 Medium. which is darker than that color. So I think that our um, Wedding Bells falls in between Pillow Talk and Pillow Talk number two. Glowing Gin is a little bit darker than the Wedding Bells. And In Love with Olivia Very close match. I think that would be very, very close. Dance for Princess, I think, is a little bit lighter. Let's see. Bond Girl, which is this one right here, is darker, but not by much. So, yeah, in that range. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next one. First dance. Let's compare these. This is Rose Kiss. Um, and Rose Kiss is just a little bit too light. And we have Walk of Shame. Which just has a little bit more of a brickier red to it. Not as much pink. This is the Pillow Talk Medium. Again, it has not as much pink to it. This is the Pillow Talk Intense. darker. In love with Olivia. Lighter. Glowing Gin. It's 
probably going to be the closest one that I can find. And those are my comparisons for this one. I think the Glowing Gin is going to be the closest one that I can find on this one. This one is the most unique color that I have out of my collection. I really don't have anything close to this color. I don't have a lot of the deeper, darker colors from Charlotte. I'm not going to be able to find anything that really matches this color that's in my collection for for comps um that's just because i really don't buy a i'm more of a nude lighter color lipstick person i don't buy a lot i really don't buy a lot of the deeper shades i i tend to go with the lighter colors and this just happened to be a collection that I really wanted everything um, that she had to offer. And I'm so glad I did because I really, mm, I just love this particular color. So you'll have to let me uh, know what you think about this collection. Are you loving it? Are you a big um, Charlotte uh, lipstick lover like I am? Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're thinking about picking any of these up. I definitely hope that uh, some of these comparables help you to decide which one that you want, which ones that you want if you're thinking about picking up more than one. I like to know which ones are looking like the ones that I already have. Am I basically getting a dupe or not? So what else have I picked up uh, in the way of a uh, luxury haul recently well I ordered the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 I am wearing that on my eye today guys that was a hot mess um, UPS lo lost my order so I ordered that UPS lost it and then of course it's out of stock. So I ended up going on Mercari to get the order. Um, it's just <laughs> a hot mess. So I, I waited for two weeks for this to come in. It was in my area. That's what's so weird about it is that the UPS truck was in my area to make delivery about three o'clock and then it just went off the grid. So um, finally, Two weeks later, um, I'm, you know, I've reached out to the UPS to track it. Um, I've reached out to Pat McGrath for a refund. Um, so I will keep you updated on that. And um, I've gotten my order from Mercari. And so what I, after using the palette, what I did was I have went in all over. Uh, with this color. I've went on my brow bone highlight with this color. I've used this underneath my lash line. This is in my outer V. This I have deepened up my transition with it. And of course I have this special shade and hopefully you're able to see. Um, let me see if you can. There we go. So you can see how it turns green uh, in the mirror. If you look in the mirror, you can see the green on it. Um, but I'll come in and I'll let you see. And hopefully you're able to see the shift. Because it is a uh, triochrome shade is what she's calling it. And so hopefully you're able to see how that's looking. So... Maybe you can tell that, you know, it's definitely shifting. <laughs> so, hopefully, I am really loving it. I am liking this palette much more uh, than I like my Divine Rose one. Um, and so, uh, yes, I... I'm definitely loving this palette. So that is the look that I am wearing today. That is what 
I picked up off of Mercari. Now what did actually finally come in from Pet was the special packaging uh, lip trio from her. So let's try that on and see how that looks. So the trio of lip products that I picked up, I picked up the pink selection. I almost picked up both. I ended up just going with the pink. I really wanted the peach as well, but um, then once my order was lost and I realized I was going to have to order off of Macari, I was just like, no, I'm over Pat for a minute. <laughs> over Pat for a hot minute. So, anyway, um, but I do want to get the uh, Christie lipstick, and I don't have that, um, so I really do want that. But it came with the uh, Divine Rose lip gloss. It came with what I'm really, really loving, which is um, Suburbia, the Suburbia lip liner. And what I think should be with every lip liner, which is a sharpener. <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's go in with the liner. But I definitely love the liner. Oh my goodness, such good quality. Goes on so creamy, so smooth, so wonderful. So, mm, definitely love that. And then it comes with um, Soft Core. And this is a color that I definitely would usually never choose. Never ever choose for myself. And it is really, really pretty. It's almost like a pinky with a, a little hint of lilac. So, you know, I would never tend to choose this. And it's just like, mmm, like the perfect, just absolutely the perfect, perfect color for this shirt. And so I'm so really, really glad to have this in my collection. It's just like one of the best summertime colors for your lips. I mean, it's just, and it's out of my comfort zone, <laughs> totally out of my comfort zone. And it just, it's just wonderful. It's just absolutely amazing. It's, I'm just, I'm just thrilled. I'm beside myself that I, I picked this up because never, ever would I have chose this color. And, you know, it's got great staying power. <laughs> it's just, it's really, I mean, this is with a makeup wipe, and it's just, you know, her lipsticks are really, really great, and I just love them. And so let's try the gloss on top. I mean, without the gloss, it's so creamy. It feels so good. I mean, it's just uh, so nice. But then with the gloss, let's try that. Hmm. Oh, I love her trios. They're just such a treat because everything goes together so well. And they're just, you know, so I'll come in and let you see that. I mean, it's just bougie at its finest. I mean... <laughs> Uh, it's just, you know, mm, it's just, it all matches. It's just so good. Mm. And it just, oh, 
Oh, I love it. Mm, I love, 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 love it. I predict that I see the peach set <laughs> in a video soon. <laughs> Just saying. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this color. So yes, um, I definitely um, think that I see the Christie set coming to a video near you. <laughs> So let me know what you think. This is my um, my bouginess um, haul, but I do absolutely love this palette. If you're wondering about it, I think that it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, it's just, oh, it is so, so good. I am so very, very happy with it. Um, I am way, way happier with um, the Divine Rose 2. If I had to choose between Divine Rose and Divine Rose 2, which one would I choose? I would definitely choose Divine Rose 2. Um, I just think it just gives a little bit of that punchier look, which I definitely love. Um, and um, I can give you some swatches. Um, this is the first top row. Um, it's just absolutely, it's just spectacular. It really is spectacular. If you are looking for your first, um, this is a special shade. If you're looking, if you've never ever made your very first pat, ooh, baby. If you've never ever made that your very first Pat McGrath purchase and you're thinking, you know, what palette should I purchase for my very first Pat McGrath palette? I definitely wouldn't hesitate saying this. Holy moly, holy moly, baby. I definitely wouldn't hesitate saying that this you know, could be that very first palette. It is so wonderful. I mean, definitely, if I did not already have a Pat McGrath palette, this would definitely hook me in hook, line, and sinker. Um, and I would not be able to hold back <laughs> at this point. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the shades are absolutely fantastic. And this, um, what is she calling this? SV, VR, Sextraterrestrial. The VR Sextraterrestrial, which is this um, triochrome right here, is just the most um, magnificent <laughs> thing <laughs> I've ever encountered. Um, it's just so good. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. Um, let me know if you've picked up the Divine Rose 2 uh, and how you're liking it. I would love to hear from you. Have you picked up any of the lip trios? I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and become part of the Get This Glowing team. And don't forget to let your light shine. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Smooches. Bye-bye till next time.